Hi, and welcome to another PowerShell quick tip. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the get dash windows feature commandlet. So it's going to be quite similar to the one that we just looked at, which was get windows capability that we looked at on windows 10 and 11. Now, this is going to be more of the server side of the windows server side of that commandlet. So let's just take a quick peek at what we saw last time, which was the get windows capability. Uh, on a Windows 10 or 11 machine, we did see that we could go and look at the online catalog, which that let us install our SAT tools. So we were able to do a where name dash like, and we were able to do a star star and then look at the our SAT tools and we would get all the our SAT tools. Now, if you actually go ahead and try to run that on a server OS, so let's go ahead and let's launch our PowerShell 7 here. And then let's go ahead and let's do get Windows capability and then still have that online. We're gonna see the list is still quite long, but there's actually no, um, no RSAT tools here. And that's because the RSAT tools aren't a windows capability on an os software it as actually more of a windows feature and we can actually know this if we go into the control panel and go into turn windows features on and off if we go in there and it'll just wait a little bit so then we get these add roles and features we keep clicking on next here we get the roles first and then we get the features and here we have our remote server administration tools. So now let's go ahead and let's take a look at how we can use the get dash windows features and also the pipeline to be able to add those into our server very easily without having to do the manual intervention of adding the feature through control panel. So let's go ahead. Let's just open up our PowerShell 7 window a little bit bigger here. And let's do get windows feature. And we're just going to do a get windows feature here. And this is going to populate a list very similar to the list that we've had on our windows 10 and 11 box with get windows capability. We're going to see all of our RSAT tools here. So here we have our RSAT EHCP tool, which is available. It's not installed, but we can see the DNS server is already installed. A lot of the um, Active Directory tools are also already installed because this is a domain controller. But let's go ahead and let's try to only specify the RSAT DHCP. So let's go ahead, hit enter a few times, and let's do get Windows feature. And then we can pipe that to where name dash like. And once again, we can do the same thing. So what I like to do is I like to just put a bunch of stars here and then do RSAT. And then star DHCP and then the star at the end. And if we run this, we only get that specific one. And then what we can go ahead and do is we can actually go ahead and pipe that to add feature. Oh, sorry. Add windows feature. And let's hit run here. And that's going to go ahead and actually install our feature. Now you're going to notice that this is a lot faster than the Windows 10 or 11 commandlet where we were getting the Windows capability. And that was really installing it and downloading it from the internet, I believe, um, because you need to get it from the online store. Whereas when it's on, on a server, it's already something that's already there. You just need to turn it on. And then we get the results back. So here, if you do install a Windows feature that does require an up uh, restart, you will actually see this restart being yes. Uh, so restart needed will be yes if you do need to restart. But in this case, we don't need to restart. And if we go ahead and we just go into our, we don't need to go through the control panel here. All we need to do is add roles and features. If we go into the GUI here, into the features we can see now that we have remote server administration tools and we have our dhcp server tools that are actually installed here so that is perfect
Now, let's say you wanted to try running this commandlet though on a Windows 10 box or a Windows 11 box. So let's go ahead, just exit out of our server real quick here. Now, if we try to actually run this on our Windows 10 or 11 machine, we will see that we actually get an error message. And that's because it says that the target of the specified commandlet cannot be a Windows client-based operating system. So basically what that means is it needs to be a Windows server operating system in order to use get Windows feature. So if you only have Windows 10 or 11, unfortunately you won't be able to try out this get Windows feature. But if you wanted to try something similarly, try the video that came out last week, which was the get Windows capability. And that will allow you to kind of play around with something very similar on your Windows 10 and 11 machine. So hopefully that helps you guys out on managing and installing features on your servers, whether it be at work or your home lab, you can completely automate what features and what roles completely through PowerShell. If you guys have a commandlet that you guys would like me to look at, as always, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to cover it. Um, and then we can see what other commandlets that other people will end up exploring. It doesn't have to be a base PowerShell commandlet. It can be something from a specific module. If it is from a specific module, if you put the command in and then maybe just the module name, that can benefit a lot of people. It will also benefit me for trying to find it. And then we can make a video on it for everyone to benefit from. Also, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, if you please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Also hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out. And I will see you guys on the next video.